Hi folks, it's Todd with Survival Sherpa. I teach 8th grade math and over and over again every time we, we talk about geometry and algebra Algebra? You mean algebra? We're never going to use that in our life, are we? Well, actually you might. Um, even if you're an outdoorsman there's math involved in some things. For example, um, if I wanted to cross a river, I wanted to find the distance across a river, if I wanted to build a bridge down here on my on this creek running by my shelter, then I would need to know a little bit of math to be able to uh, figure out how long it is across that creek if I was going to build me a walk bridge or something like that. So today I wanted to uh, introduce my students to a little bit of woodcraft math. So um, pay attention kids, uh, school's in session. If I wanted to cross this river here, and we've got a river flowing, and there's some reason that we need to cross that, or we wanted to build something to get across that, or we needed to fell a tree to get it long enough to cross that river, uh, we would need to know a little bit of math, okay? And the whole uh, idea of Pythagorean theorem is just right triangles, okay? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I thought you'd like that. Now, so what we want to start with is you're going to find a landmark across the river, okay? Whatever that is. It might be a tree, a rock, whatever. Something that's big enough or tall enough for you to be able to see it. Now, it also helps to use this method if you've got a, a decent amount of space that you can walk down the river. If it's, if it's full of brambles and that kind of stuff, this method isn't going to work. But it's a good lesson anyway. <clears throat> So you want, a, you want a, a good clear path or, or, or as best you can. I'm going to walk the creek with you in just a minute and show you how, how it works in real life. But um, you're going to find a landmark across the river from wherever you want to go. Bring you in just a little bit. Okay, so if I'm looking over here, I'm standing right here, and I'm going to look across the river. I'm going to find a tree or something that is a, that is a landmark that I can see because I'm going to walk down that river for a decent amount of weight. And um, let me back you up again now. Get you back in frame. Now, so I'm standing across here, see my landmark, and I want to start here. This is my Y, just for just for you to know. That's, that's where I'm gonna label Y, okay? I've got X up here, Y right here. I'm gonna walk 20 paces. I'm going to walk 20 paces along this river in as straight of a line as I can walk. And I'm going to count off 20 paces. When I get to 20 paces, I'm going to stop right here. I'm stopping right there. And I'm going to put a mark, some kind of stick or something that I can see in the ground there. And when I show you how I'm doing this in uh, real life, um, I've got a piece of cedar that's red. It's easy to see. But you want to find something, tie a bandana to it, to a stick or something, so that you can see it. So I'm walk 20 paces, mark it, that is, that is point A. The next, from that point right there with my hill on that point, I'm going to walk 20 more paces. 20 paces here. In as straight of a line as I can along the river. And I'm going to get to my 20th step, and I'm going to, I'm going to stop. That is point B, okay? right here. This is point B. Now, from that point, I'm going to turn 90 degrees, if I'm walking in this direction, when I get to point B, I'm going to turn 90 degrees away from the river. And I'm going to begin my pace count that way. And this is where you're going to find out how far the river is. Okay, so a 90 degree angle right here, again, this is a right triangle. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We don't really need to know that, but I'm just throwing out some jargon for you eighth graders. <clears throat> 20 paces from point A to point B. Turn 90 degrees at point B, my back's to the river, and I'm going to start walking at my normal pace right here. And I'm going to count my steps all the way out until I get looking back towards this point right here, this flag or this stick in the ground right here, right here on point A. And I'm looking back until I can see that I'm lined up visually right here from, from wherever I stop and I'm lined up. I want to line up so that I'm visually 
connecting from point A to point X in a straight line. So when I get to that point, I'm going to stop. That's point C, okay? Point A, X, and C all line up in a straight line. Now what happens here is I'm going to stop and I'm going to remember my pace count out to this point where I can line up between A, X, and C in a straight line. However far I traveled in my pace count, that's how far this is from here to across the river. That's the chalkboard lesson. We're going to go and do it for real right now, okay? All right, guys, I'm down here by the creek. Now, obviously, this is not a, not a very big creek, but let's just pretend that it's a river. And I need to get across there, and I've got to figure out how to get across there. Maybe I'm going to fell a tree so that I can get across that river. Um, but my, my point of reference for this crossing right here is going to be that sour wood right across the creek there. My finger's on it right there. That's a sour wood tree growing on the side of the creek. And that is my landmark, okay? So from here, I'm going to put a little mark in the ground where I'm starting, okay? I'm just digging out some leaves right here. And I'm going to begin my pace count. Now, let me show you what I've got here. This is just something that I can see out in the woods very easily. You can use a stick or anything else that you've got. But I've just got a piece of red cedar that, um, from my shelter, just for demonstration purposes. And uh, an axe to drive this in the ground just a bit so I can make it stand up when I, when I uh, get to the point that I'm going. Okay, I'm going to do... Now, we're going to do 20 paces out. Okay, 20 paces from here. Um, and remember, we want to just eyeball it and keep it in a 90 degree ang at, at a uh, 90 degree angle here if we can, if at all possible. And again, this is an estimation, but we're going to get it as close as we can. So from here, we're going to do 90 paces out. I mean, uh, 20 paces out along this river. I'm going to back your camera up so you can see me. All right, here we go. Twenty. I'm gonna drive this in the ground now. I'm gonna come get you. Okay, from my, my marker, point A, I'm gonna make another 20 paces out this way. And, and, and again, I'm trying to keep it in a straight line here, parallel to the creek. The creek is not a uh, straight line, but this, this will be. So, my hill on the stake, I'm going 20 this way. Okay, we got 20 paces from point A all the way out here to C. Okay, well actually that's B, all right? So here we go, we're gonna move everything over there and then do our pace count up here. And remember, we're trying to line this up somewhere up, in those, up on that hill, trying to line this up back this way, visual sight from this red post to somewhere up in there. And we're gonna count those steps as we go up that hill to line up with that sour wood across the creek. That should give us the distance from where we start want to uh, uh, where we started to across the creek, okay? Our river. All right, here we go. All right, so here I am looking back down um, following the path that I came. The red marker is down by my tripod. That's the that's the marker, the line and 
I, I can't see through here. There it is. That's about the starting location. It's right across from the creek right there. Somewhere right in there. All right, now, what we're going to do now is we're going to just pace and count and look back until we can line up this point up here. When we get to a point up here where we are visually in line with that red stake and that sourwood tree, then we know the distance. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Remember, it's got to be a right angle. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Start looking back. Ten, eleven, twelve. Look back. Thirteen. That's it right there. Now I'm standing on a point C. So from point B to point C, I think I just paced off 13 feet. So let's see if we can see our marker down there. I can see it. I hope you can. There it is. Yep. There's a marker right over those beach, beach limbs. Right there. You see it? Then straight across is my sourwood tree. That's my landmark right there. So from there, that sourwood tree <clears throat> lined up with that red piece of cedar. I'm going to move over just a touch so you can see it. Lined up correctly. There it is. So from, from wherever we stood on the creek bank, across the creek, is approximately 13 paces.